Clandathu, day 165. From up here, the bug war felt different. No muck clogging up your equipment, no bug guts splattered on your power suit. From above, the war almost felt surreal. Almost. Okay, Roughnecks, this is your stop. Sector Beta 232, initiate drop suit sequence. That's a no-go, Ibanez. LZ's too hot for company. We need the area cleared before drop. Sir, Lieutenant Walker's orders were quite specific. Stealth drop, no ordnance, no exceptions. Walker, should have known he'd find a way to fry our hides. I'm not serving up my squad as a bug banquet so some intel gung-ho can save Psycon a few bombs. You read me, Ensign? Clear us a drop zone, pronto! Sir, yes, sir. I take it some history exists between Lieutenant Walker and Lieutenant Razak. We pulled an op with him when we were on Pluto. Let's just say he and the LT did not get along. Surface. There were troopers in that sector you just leveled. That, that intel was unavailable. Secret off. Need to know basis only. You didn't need to know. You should have just followed orders. We've lost communication with the six squads in the area, and General Red Wing personally was in command of those troopers. The bombing which left General Red Wing and six squads MIA is only indicative of Lieutenant Razak's blatant disregard for the chain of command and standard PSYCON protocol. And this is not the first time the Lieutenant's actions have led to disaster. It was during Operation Pest Control, the Lieutenant's first command. For his troopers, it would be their last. This issue must be resolved immediately. With Red Wing squads out of the picture, the entire base is vulnerable to bug attack. These are serious charges, Lieutenant. What do you have to say for yourself? I'll let my record speak for itself, sir. That it will, Lieutenant. Private Higgins, describe in detail the events of Day 19 of the Tophet campaign. Um, the Lieutenant... He had one of his hunches about bug activity in the sector. This may not be a good time to mention it, but I never actually passed a simulator course. So, the lieutenant ordered you, an untrained, inexperienced civilian, to go on a dangerous recon mission? Not exactly sound military judgment. Ah! I did it.
Razak was just trying to make me realize this war isn't just about pretty pictures for Psycon recruiting vids. Lieutenant Razak? Sir, in my opinion, Lieutenant Razak was just trying- This tribunal deals in facts, Private, not opinions. That is all. How'd it go? Walker's definitely gunning for the LT. With both barrels. Should've dropped him on those bugs instead of that baby plasma. They wouldn't actually court-martial Lieutenant Razak, would they? Walker's gonna give us each the third degree on the Lieutenant. Only question is, which one of us gives up Razak first? Isn't it true, Trooper Tafai, that Lieutenant Razak didn't exactly welcome you into the squad? Not unexpected, given the circumstances. Hello, Jean. General Red Wing. <laughs> Why? Aren't we official tonight? This isn't a personal call. No, not personal. Personnel. Barely a month ago, we were fighting against the Skinnies. Now you expect our forces to about face and fight beside them? They're allies. Plain and simple. Miriam, the timing of this could not be worse. Given the state of the war, I'd have to disagree. But this particular Skinny... The orders have been cut, Jean. Sir. Yes, sir. Red Wing out. Goodbye, Jean. Listen up. With Jenkins gone, I'm told we're one ape short. So Sycon sent us a gibbon. What? As you know, skinny technology does not include light speed travel. Those who wish to join the war effort had to enlist as Sycon recruits. I'm aware you're used to being addressed as Colonel. That rank no longer applies. Gossard, set up a talk box for a private to fi. It is not necessary. I have studied your language. Fine. Get your cans in gear. We drop in 20. Big Dog should have left craters we can use as foxholes. Private to Fi. Scout the beach for cover. Yes, sir. Any backup, sir? No. to Alpha Leader. Corridor to Foxhole 1, clear. Over. Clear? Move out! Your orders were to scout, not to secure. Pay attention, Private. <sighs> yes, sir. Despite a Psycon directive ordering all squads to assimilate skinny recruits, he treated you no better than a second-class citizen. I am the roughneck I am today because of Lieutenant Razak's leadership, and a roughneck is second to no one. Why would the LT let that intel weasel fillet him like this? He wouldn't. Something else is going on. I'm just not sure what. Anson Ibanez, recount for the Tribunal the recent commandeering of the Valley Forge by Major Xander Barkalo. Major Barkalo had been infected by the bugs on the ice asteroid. We just didn't know how bad. Dector, vital signs normal. Evans, vital signs normal. 
Arkelo, vital signs. What? Body temp 84, pulse 273, irregular brainwave fluctuation. Carefully. You've been infected with some kind of bug virus. I I'm sure I can help. Now, why would I want to be helped? So much for the Hippocratic Oath, eh, Doc? Drive's disengaging. Wherever Xander was taking the ship, we've arrived. Ready to go down with your ship, Commander? Stand down, Barcolo! It's over! <laughs> A class starship was nearly destroyed, and a demented Psycon officer with untold military secrets was allowed to escape onto the bug home planet? I don't think this could get much worse. Pulled an op on Tophet when some genius at Psycon decided we needed help. We just called it Chaz. Looks like we're all out of a job. I am fully operational, Lieutenant Gene Razak, serial number JR902441. Decorated for meritorious service ten times. We all are a bit skeptical about this piece of hardware, but it has been assigned to our squad, and we will deal with it. Understood, Roughnecks? Sir, yes, sir! But Lieutenant Razak soon went against the spirit of his own orders, didn't he? LT was just being cautious about that tin can, like we all were. But in the end, I guess it proved itself a trooper. Hey, 
Maggots! Whoa! Do not move! I'll get him! No, I will. Chaz, can you defuse it? Negative. The trigger is pressure sensitive. Without weight displacement, the mine will detonate. <laughs> You're right, Private Higgins. Some losses are not acceptable. Yeah! Go! I will cover your retreat. Valuable piece of military hardware destroyed under Lieutenant Razak's command. Toffin, day 83. Lieutenant Razak led you into a blind canyon with disastrous results. Skinnies! On the ridge! Take cover! <laughs> Your squad was captured by the Skinnies, isn't that correct? It was the LT who led the escape from the Skinny prison. He's the one that's gotten us through this stinking bug war in one piece. By breaking every rule in the book as he sees fit. When the bugs play fair, maybe he'll do the same. Sir. Lieutenant Razak, do you have anything to say before we pass sentence? Bugs, advancing on the perimeter. We have a traitor among us, feeding the bugs intel on our every move. Wait a minute. You don't think... Traitor! Destroy him! Control bug! been pulling the general's strings all along. But the bug attack will never hold. We've got your back, Lieutenant. Red Wing, you're alive. My squads are in crossfire position. Any bug retreat will be sealed off. And who says intel isn't on the ball? We knew there was an internal security breach, so Lieutenant Razak and I came up with this plan to flush him out. What, the whole thing was a setup? Secret up. Need to know basis only. You didn't need to know. All right, Roughnecks! You want to live forever? Ho! The Lieutenant's strategy had worked. The bug-controlled traitor was discovered and the attacking horde was neutralized. Sandwiched between the Roughnecks and Red Wing squads.
Maybe Lieutenant Walker knew a little better what kind of a leader Razak really was. As for the Roughnecks, that was no secret at all.